All right, everybody, I'm going to show you how to integrate Klaviyo with your Shopify store in order for you to capture the most amount of data that you can from your store visitors. So right now I have this Shopify store. It's uh, a brand new store. I'm building it out currently. Uh, there's not a lot going on here, but I'm going to show you how to integrate Klaviyo. So uh, there's, there's really kind of three ways you can do it. You can um, go to apps here in Shopify, and you can go to the Shopify app store. And search for Klaviyo up here, and then install Klaviyo marketing automation. Uh, but there's, that's one way to do it. Uh, the way I'm going to show you right now is if you just go to Klaviyo.com, and you click on sign up. So here we'll just put uh, fill this out. It's a new store, so I'll just select zero to a thousand. Uh, they do email. Clavio's coming out with SMS. I'm just going to go with both. Your website name here. I'm already on the email, so I'm going to uncheck that, and I don't need the walkthrough. Just click get started. Up oh, phone is required. Get started. Right, fill out your website. E-commerce, Shopify, continue. Your myshopify.com URL. Mine is try dropped. You'll have to enter whatever yours is. But you get one of these when you sign up for Shopify. connect our Shopify account. I'm already logged in, so this should be quick. And now it's going to install the Klaviyo app on my Shopify store, which is what you would have done if you'd have gone through apps anyways. So we'll click install app. Taking a second, it's just setting it up probably. Alright, continue. I'll just click one of these. A couple questions from Clavio. That's fine for now. This thing, right? Alright, my logo is actually already in my Shopify store, so they just pulled that, or you could just open or uh, upload yours. Continue. You can pick colors for your brand. Uh, I'll do that later when I'm designing my emails. Uh, I'll just get this are header links for your default email here. I'll just go through this. You could fill this all out if you wanted. I like to set it up and then go and set up my templates and my settings afterwards. All right, all set. And we're all set. Here's the Klaviyo dashboard now. And at this point, you're basically set up. Anyone that um, places an order will get added to your, if you go to lists here, will get added to your newsletter list. And um, 
but there's one more thing we want to do here. Uh, also, if they when they check out on Shopify, it asks them if they want to receive marketing emails. They have a checkbox to select that. That'll add them to this list. If they place an order, they'll be added to your profiles. But there's one more thing we want to do uh, because we want to set up web tracking. What this will let us do is track products that people have viewed. So right now we can track that people are on our site, we can track when they you know, join our lists or place orders. Uh, we can do things like send abandoned cart emails right now, but this is gonna let us know what people are, what products people are browsing, and there's a lot more data we can gather from that. You know, you, for instance, you could start sending emails to people that were looking at products and then left and never actually added it to their cart, but you could still send them an email. So we got to copy this bit of code and put it in our product.liquid template. So the way you do that is you just log back into your Shopify admin. You click on your online store and you go to your theme. This is the default Shopify theme debut. Click this drop down and go edit code. And we want to find that product.liquid file. Uh, you could search for it up here and it'll pop up, but it's right here in this theme. Your theme might be different. And we'll just scroll to the bottom and put it at the end, all that code that we copied. So that's what I just pasted in there. We'll click Save. And then we go back to our Clavio integration here and enter our store, which is just... Enter your URL, click next, and it will check it to make sure. Uh, click on this link, will open your web page and make sure that it's receiving data. So we go back and it says data received, continue. And now we're all set. We've got um, the on site tracking and we've got the product browser, browsing tracking. And if you want to, you can even go, the last way that you could set this up, if you already had a Klaviyo account and you didn't have it set up to Shopify already, you could come to Integrations and click on that. And then right now, this is the one we just set up, but otherwise, if you didn't do it, you can click on All Integrations, find Shopify, and set it up there. But we're already set up. We can click on this as well and see the settings. Actually, if I go back there, you'll see it says sync in progress because we just set it up. If you had, say, you know, a lot of data already, thousands of customers or something like that, Clavio is going to sync with Shopify and pull that data in. So it's super helpful. And one last thing we want to do here is click this to make sure that uh, looks like it was unchecked at first. So you want to definitely come in here and click on this and select the list you want people that select accepted marketing to be added to. In this case, it's newsletter. The default list that they create is newsletter. It's a good idea to just keep that one. Uh, make sure that's checked. This this is the, the basic JavaScript that tracks everything. Uh, you don't necessarily need this one right now. I don't usually use it. Click Update Shopify Settings. Yeah. And there, now we're all set up. We're going to be tracking all sorts of data. I'm going to make a bunch of other videos to show you exactly what to do with that data. Hope it helps. Thanks.